Hi everybody out there in YouTube, Diamond Painting and Floss Tube Land. This is Tina Frazier coming to you from Columbus, Ohio. Yes, I made it home. Finally, I got home about 2.30 a.m. this morning. And um, I am kind of thankful to be home, a little um, happy, a little relieved, and um, everything like that. So I'm coming to you today. Today is August 17th at approximately 11.10 p.m. Eastern Time, because I'm no longer in Southern California. And I'm coming to you today with um, a, this, there's going to be probably several little video snippets of this, because if I leave this as one long video, A, a bunch of you are going to be like, oh my god, I don't want to listen to that, that's cross-stitch related, or oh my god, I don't want to see that because that's diamond painting related, or oh my god, she hasn't done a, a board game unboxing before, so yeah, I have, um, I have some interesting stuff in store for you here, um, and, uh, Anyway, so as you know, if you've been watching my channel for um, the last little few videos that I posted, I have previously been in sunny Southern California. Um, I flew out to California on June 18th to help my mom prepare for my stepdad's um, return from nursing facility under hospice care. And if you've watched um, my videos posted around uh, late June, early July, you know that um, my stepdad passed away June 25th. So I was out in sunny California helping my mom kind of start the whole process of dealing with his passing. Um, it's been a trying two months. I was out there basically two months um, working remotely during the week and then, you know, kind of helping my mom when I can. And, um, it's been a tough process. But anyway, so my husband stayed here at home with the cats. You can see I'm kind of back at home. And um, while I've been out, there has been a lot of um, stuff delivered for me. So um, let me show you some things. So this is um, a pile of, um, this is a pile of some of the cross stitch magazines that I got cross stitch gold another cross stitch gold another cross stitch crazy yet another cross stitch crazy and a keepsake calendar so I have a lot of magazines to go through and I have a lot of packages to go through so I'm gonna show you the the thing of packages the pile of packages that I have to go through so bear with me while the camera moves but anyway I'm gonna show you the pile of packages so I apologize um, if you get motion sick um, look away anyway so um, don't mind the mess um, I'm still kind of unpacking so anyway moving my laptop so you can see here, this is the pile of packages. You can see Rosie over there. Say hi, Rosie. Hi, Rosie. There's Rosie the dog. So you can see my pile of packages here. So you can see I have the Loot Crate Hello Kitty subscription box. The two boxes next to that are my Mia Bella candle of the month, along with the other box that's the same size past the yellowish taped box right next to the villager's box. The Villagers is a card game that I kickstarted that arrived after I had already left for California. And then you see the various packets um, sitting there. The one packet that's off to the far right is just an entertainment book. My husband and I get two of them, so there's another second one in there. But those other pouches, um, the orange mailing envelopes are from Crazy Annie Stitching. And the other... Um, gray mailing envelopes are from Garon Toten Bags. So I actually have a lot to unbox for you guys. So I'm going to move you back. Sorry about the shakiness of the camera. Sorry, not sorry. But anyway, so um, yeah, I have a lot to do. So um, my plan, don't, don't mind the camera shaking. My plan is to bring you little video snippets and you're gonna have my first ever unboxing of a board game my husband and I are avid, avid board gamers um, and we play all kinds of euro games you might have heard of Ticket to Ride, Settlers of Catan um, 
you know, some of those other games like that, Alhambra, Puerto Rico. Um, my husband and I are really avid board gamers, and um, we have quite a, quite an extensive game collection. And this uh, Villagers card game was a game that I had kickstarted last year. Um, yeah, it was. It might have been. It might have been late last year or early this year, but I kickstarted it, um, hoping to have it before our board game convention that happens in June every year, and it never came. Well, after the board game convention, um, the week after the board game convention is when I flew to California. So um, I never got it until after I was uh, in California. So um, anyway, I will be doing these unboxings for you and these unbaggings. So this is going to be the intro video that you will see with all these other videos. I'm going to kind of link them together. So hopefully... Um, if you're so inclined, and any um, any links I'm able to get for you for any of these videos, I will put the links below. Um, you're going to see a board game unboxing, um, because my husband and I play board games. Maybe sometime I'll do a board game playthrough, or you know, kind of give you some um, uh, some snippets of like or going to origins and stuff like that. But and I will. Um, be sure to include any links um, in the descriptions for any of the videos that I do. But I just wanted to say hi. Um, I'm glad to be back home. It feels kind of good to be here. And um, I hope you enjoy this massive set of unboxing, unbagging, and walkthrough videos. I don't know for sure yet if I will um, do any of the magazine flip-throughs just because it's going to take so much. I might actually do the keepsake um, calendar walkthrough, though, just so you can see. Um, I'm kind of looking forward to that, um, but yeah, I have a lot of stuff to go through. So, um, this is probably going to be an ongoing project, and you'll see um, these videos come up uh, kind of one by one with this same intro video. So, anyway, sit back, relax. This is coming to you from Orange Vanilla Coke. Um, this is my drink of choice. And uh, anyway, Sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, and take care. I'm not sure how long these videos are going to be. It just really depends. All right? We'll see you soon. I'll see you on the next little video clip and uh, for the first unboxing. So sit back, relax, enjoy, grab yourself something to drink, grab your favorite project, and uh, enjoy. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Hi out there in uh, YouTube land. This is Tina Fraser with my first ever board game, card game unboxing. Let me adjust the camera just a little bit to make it a little more even. There we go. Um, I'm coming to you today from Columbus, Ohio. It is um, <clears throat> approximately 11.30 p.m. on Saturday, August 17th, 2019. And I'm coming to you with my first ever board game unboxing. My husband and I um, are avid board gamers, and this game, Villagers, was a game that I had kickstarted um, earlier this year. And while I was out in California, um, the game actually came to me. I was hoping it would get here before our board game convention in mid August, or mid June, sorry. But um, it didn't arrive until after I was already out in California. So this is it. I had pledged at the Wood Carver. Wood Carver Pledge uh, level, which got me a copy of the game and quite a few of the um, uh, stretch goals and um, some uh, better components for the game. So here we go with the unboxing of the game. So a lot of people have already done unboxings of this and have done reviews for the game and have played the game. I have not. I've watched some of the reviews. I've watched some of the playthroughs. I've read a lot of the rules, but this is my um, first look at my copy of the game. So you're seeing this as I am. So here we go. All right. So we have this. Came in a nice box. This is how it how it was shipped to me. Okay. There we go. All right. So we open up the box, and this is what you get. So it was packaged just like this. And so here is the box. It is Villagers. That's the name of the game. Um, so I will take it out and show you the box. So this is Villagers, a card drafting and tableau building game for one to five players. Um, also in the box, oh, this is just some packing material that they have in the box. Uh, just some stuff that they cut up to kind of help protect um, 
protect the uh, the actual game box. So as you can see, my game box for villagers. Let me go ahead and turn this around for you, so it's the right way. My game box for villagers has pretty pristine. There's no damage to it. It's still in the shrink wrap. Everything looks pretty good. Um, it's designed by Hack on Hole Guard Garter. That might actually be a description of the game in another language. But anyway, so this is Villagers. Again, this is a card drafting and tableau building game for one to five players. Okay, let me put this stuff down here in the box. And I will um, kind of cut through the plastic wrap to get in here. All right. Oh, I can show you the bottom of the box. So here you see, this is designed and illustrated by Hack on Garter. Villagers is a beautiful game of card drafting and village building. As a village founder, you'll invite people from all walks of life to live and work in your expanding community. If you can recruit the right people to form lucrative production chains while balancing your food production and building capacity, your village will become the most prosperous and you'll win the game. In single player mode, a lone village must prosper against the machinations of the powerful and ill-tempered countess. So, these are some of the game components that you will see in the box. You have, um, come on, focus. Focus. So anyway, you have some cards um, here. Combine different villagers. Come on, focus. Will it focus on that? All right, so this is having trouble focusing. Oh, well, there we go. There we go. Maybe. Maybe. There we go. So you have a grocer, a hare, a grazier, a milkmaid, a cooper, a carpenter, a lumberjack. Create clever victory point synergies. Combine 54 different villagers. Content. If it'll focus, you have 30 basic villager cards, 100 villager cards, 5 founders cards, 5 village square boards, 5 card divider boards, 150 coin tokens, 26 solar more cards, and a rules booklet. And those are some of the resources cards that you'll get. It's by Sinister Fish Games, made in China by Watts Games. Okay, so now we're ready to undo the shrink. Yay, how exciting this is. Yay. Come on. There we go. So I'm going to do this kind of off camera a little bit. It's a little easier for me to do this off camera to get the shrink wrap off for you. All right, so we have villagers out of the shrink wrap. And here we go with the initial unboxing of villagers. Da da da! Ta da! So everything's still in shrink wrap. All right, so you see here, initial off the bat, I'll turn this around so you can see. We have the Sinister Fish Game logo, we have the coin chest, we have several different packages of cards, the first, including the first player card. We have. Um, more cards. We have looks like these are the divider cards. I'm going to take this out to make it make it easier. So we have um, divider cards. This is how you will um, store your game. This is how you will store your game in the um, in the box. All your game components. We have this is uh, the village square. Village Square little blocks. Um, it gives you the turn sequence on the back. So these are um, little uh, thick um, player cards, player aid cards. Um, Village Square. Okay. So that's what's on that side. Then on this side we have the coin chest. This is this was a. Um, uh, stretch goal component that we could get. So we have the coin chest, um, which has wooden coins for tabletop gaming. 
So we have all these denominations in wood coins, and it's still in the shrink wrap. Um, we'll put it back in here. So in here, I will show you, you have 41 uh, uh, piece, 42 p two pence, uh, 25 pence. You have 10, 10 pence, 15, 20 pence, 15, 50 pence, and 10, 100 pence. Do away with all the unsightly cardboard coins in your board game collection with these beautiful untactile replacement coins made from 100% real wood. Designed for use with villagers, these coins are perfect for many other games. Count them, collect them, or drop them down a well for luck. If you buy this box, the choice is yours. Sinister Fish Games. So, perfect for villagers and many more. So then, um, if you didn't get the coin chest, so here's the villagers rule book. Um, it goes through all the different gameplay, including game setup and the game contents. Um, so it's a nice little, nice little color book with uh, uh, very nice descriptions, color instructions, everything like that. Looks really nice. It's a really nice game, and it fits in the box just perfect. It's the same size of the box. And then, if you didn't get the wood um, wood money counters, you have the cardboard money counters here. Um, again, they left these in the box just in case you wanted to um, use them, and also to help fill the box um, and keep the box better organized. So, all right. Now we have seen seen it all. Oh, and these are um, baggies. They also included some baggies. So when you do break down your coins, you have a way to store them. So, all right, Put, putting the bags back. So we have, we'll take a look at the um, cards next. So I'm just gonna slide this this way and uh, we'll take a look at the cards. So, I find it kind of easier to go through the top sometimes um, where the uh, wrapping has been um, sealed and then you can open up the cards like that. All right. So here are some of the cards for, um, for villagers. You have special cards, you have solitary cards, um, you have ores. These are resources. Ores, hay. Um, Grapes, grains, different resources. These are really nice. They're kind of like linen. They feel a little bit like linen. And then you had padlocks, explained, explanation cards, um, different things you need to know. These are player aids. These are the founder cards, um, which you will select at the be beginning of the game. So this is um, your villager that you decide to keep. And uh, so this is, you know, market phases phases of the game, three to five player end of draft phase, and the first player t marker, which is a rooster. So, there's some of the cards. All right, we'll open up the second deck of cards and show you. So, kind of slide those off to the side there. Sometimes these are tricky to open. And this one doesn't. It does, it does too have a band. All right, there we go. There we go. That's what I was looking for. There we go. All right. So then we have some more cards. So we have the smugglers. These are um, some of the jobs. Special tinner, um, carpenter. These are some of the jobs that your villagers can have. Cobbler, saddler, tanner, shepherd. Um, just more of the different types of um, jobs that your villagers can have. Um, lumberjack, miner, these are the people that you recruit into your town. Um, so here's the countess um, and the jester. Uh, sinister banquet, these are some of the um, event cards that can happen in your town. So yeah, you just kind of um, keep all these together. 
and uh, that forms your villagers card game deck. All right. So now we'll take a look inside the villagers Kickstarter expansion pack. All right. We'll take a look at that. Again, I um, did this at the woodcarvers. You'll hear my woodcarver pledge. That's the level that I pledged on Kickstarter. You, you just heard um, my cat Gur in the background. Gur is deaf, and she's trying to get his attention. So um, anyway, that's a stuff to impact. So this is the Kickstarter expansion pack for villagers. You get to see what's inside. So open it this way. And inside the Kickstarter expansion pack, we have we have the wood start player markers. We have the wooden markers for all the, a couple of the um, different elements in here. So I will take these out. So um, these are explained a little more in the rules, but uh, we have this nice little wood house. We have this nice little wood tent. I'm assuming this is mar the market. Um, we have the windmill. We have the windmill. And we have the start player marker. This is the start player marker. They're nice wood pieces. Really nice. I like the artwork. The artwork's really handy. So you get the starter pieces, which is really kind of nice. And then you get some additional um, sorting uh, markers for your box for your game components and then you get some additional cards um, for your game which I believe provide different um, different grr, shush. you can provide different um, uh, what is it uh, professions for your villagers that you can hire so anyway, so we have uh, technology, uh, which would explain the windmill. We have the mercantile, which is the, the tent. We have the community, which is the house. And then we have some more special cards, um, which are like different solitary things. Um, a benefactor, uh, solitary stuff, um, more special things, some more resources um, that you can um, do and different specials, uh, different um, additional things that your um, villagers can take on, like a barbarian, a courier, a flaker, a noble, a schemer, a sheriff, um, and stuff like that. And then we have this um, little additional um, instruction sheet for the uh, um, Kickstarter expansion right here that explains the um, different expansions. So you have the Scandals expansion, the Saints expansion, the Profiteers expansion, the Bronze symbols, and then card clarifications, Saints and Scoundrels. And then on the back you have um, development expansion, development phase, and card clarifications for profiteers and development. So this expansion just adds some new elements to your game and some additional cards that you can use um, to set up your game. So I am going to put these back in the box that they came in. Do -do 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 -do. Again, we have the nice, like, nice little wood tokens. to do and it all fits back in the box just like so yeah just like so hopefully 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 put those in hopefully hopefully oh maybe if I put it in the right way there we go there we go. And now we're going to move on to the coin chest. So we have the coin chest. All right. 
we have the coin chest. Do do do. The coin chest simply slides out of the the cover sleeve. Slides out of the cover sleeve. Come on, slides out of the cover sleeve. There we go. Ugh. Why is this so difficult? There we go. So, your wooden coin chest comes in this nice heavy duty cardboard chest that opens up. It's a magnetic chest. So, it's got the magnetic flap. So, that's kind of nice. And it opens up. And here you have all your coins, different denominations. Now, I'm not going to open these just yet because I'm not planning on playing them. But it does come in a baggie. They do come in a baggie, which is kind of nice so you can reseal it um, instead of having them loose in your coin chest. But you see it's got the 50s and the 20s and the 5s and 1s and 10s and uh, the 100s. There's a 100 right there. Um, really nice coin pieces, actually, for being wood. There's a lot of them in there, so let's see if I can get it back in the box. Maybe, so I can get it back in the thing. All right, so that looks like that. I will slide this back in. Maybe, maybe, maybe. There we go. I'm doing this off camera, sorry you guys. But anyway, so there's your coin chest. So again, you get uh, 41s, 42s, 25s, 10 10s, 15 20s, 15 50s, and 10 100s. So there you have it. And there is the villagers. The villagers, a card drafting and tableau building game for one, two, five players. Um, I don't know, uh, I don't remember a whole lot about this game because I was watching video walkthroughs and everything um, beginning of June, towards the end of June once everything started shipping. I don't remember a whole lot about this game, but um, everything I've read, all the reviews and everything in this game have been pretty, pretty uh, positive. And there's a lot of people really happy with the game components. This seems like a really fun game. I'm looking forward to delving into it and playing some. So... Anyway, there may be an upcoming video on um, playing of the game. So I hope you like this this uh, un first unboxing game unboxing video of mine for my YouTube channel. Um, and uh, just keep watching because I may actually have more game information out there for you too. So um, anyway, please uh, leave your comments and questions below. I will do my best to answer them. And uh, just keep on keeping on because that's all we can do. And uh, look forward to uh, doing more game unboxing videos and game demo videos and game playing videos for you on my channel. So anyway, take care and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.